children and colds is a child sneezing coughing and complaining about a sore throat there's not a parent on the planet who hasn't been there find out how to keep those cold symptoms in check and prevent your kid from getting sick the next time so firstly what is a cold more than 200 different viruses can cause this infection but the rhinovirus is the most common culprit antibiotics which fight bacteria won't treat your child's cold because the cold is a viral illness viral illness cannot be treated with antibiotics except in newborns or in immunocompromised children colds in healthy children are in dangerous they usually go away within 4 to 10 days without treatment so what to expect when a child gets a cold it starts when they have a general feeling of being well often followed by a sore throat runny nose or cough at the beginning the sore throat is due to a build up of mucus later your child may get a post nasal drip when the mucus runs down the back of their nose to the throat as your child's cold gets worse they may wake up with symptoms like these watery mucus in the nose watery or crusty eyes, sneezing, feeling of tiredness, fever, sore throat, cough, decreased or no appetite. A cold virus can affect your child's sinuses, throat, bronchial tubes and ears. They may also have diarrhea and vomiting. At first, your child may be irritable and complain of a headache and feeling stuffed up. After a while, the mucus coming out of their nose may turn darker and thicker. How many colds will my child get? Babies and toddlers often have 8 to 10 colds a year before they turn 2 years old. Kids who are preschool age have around 9 colds a year while kindergarteners have around a 12 a year. So how can I prevent my kid from catching one? Your child can get sick when someone who's got a cold touches an object that's later touched by your child. Door handles, stair railings, books, pens, video game remotes and a computer keyboard are some common carriers of cold viruses. They can live on one of those objects for several hours. Washing hands is best defense. This is the best ritual we have been following since the pandemic COVID-19, isn't it? It takes 20 seconds of hand washing with warm soapy water to get rid of germs. If your child has a cold, make sure you protect others from catching it. If they have symptoms, keep them home from school and avoid contact with other children. Encourage your child to cover his mouth when sneezing and to use a tissue when they blow their nose. Remind your child to wash their hands after coughing, sneezing or blowing their nose. Let us know, are cold medicines safe for the kids? The FDA and drug makers say you shouldn't give over-the-counter cough and cold medicines to children under 4. These include things like cough suppressants, cough expectorants, decongestants, antihistamines, etc. These drugs are the active ingredients in many brands of kids' cold and cough medicines. Generally speaking, children should not be using cough medicines. Coughing is the body's natural way of helping the body get rid of cold virus. It's okay to let your child cough unless they are in distress. When to call the doctor? Talk to the pediatrician if your child doesn't get better after a few days. Also call if they have a high fever, vomiting, chills and shakes, a hacking cough, any respiratory distress or extreme fatigue. If your child has asthma, diabetes or other long-term health conditions, call your pediatrician to talk about medicine or other treatments. That's all for today. So, if you want to watch more such videos, please subscribe, like and share our channel. Thank you.